You know, we live in a dog-friendly world. We don't deserve them, but that doesn't mean our best friends can always go everywhere with us. The exception always when a dog is a certified ADA service animal. Good evening. I'm Elias Johnson and I'm Janae Town. The Puppy Jake Foundation awards certified service dogs for veterans. The dogs help them cope with physical and emotional trauma. All right, so full disclosure, I serve on the board of Puppy Jake. I know this veteran we're going to talk about tonight and his family. Tonight, Army vet Zach Fox and his family hopes a recent experience helps everyone understand and the role his best friend plays. Hey, Rick. Good boy. Most dog owners love including their best friend when possible. But Army veteran Zach Fox never leaves home without the Colonel. The Fox family party of three is ready for a night out, or technically is it four? I think I made that joke a few times and it didn't land ever, <laughs> so I just I threw it away. All kidding aside, the purpose Colonel serves makes family time outside their home possible. You know, I had issues sleeping, I had flashbacks, I had nightmares. It, what I always tell people is just, just imagine the worst. Three years ago, he found a way to cope after his wife Lindsay hooked up with the Puppy Jake Foundation to help foster and train puppies to become certified service dogs and placed with veterans suffering from physical and emotional scars of war. Never in a million years did we think we would ever be able to keep Colonel. We just assumed that we would be getting another dog and maybe we would have a hand in training that and maybe not, but we were completely ready to give Colonel up. Instead, after submitting his application, the decision was made to keep this bonded duo together. He just, again, he changed my life for the better. And I don't know where I'd be without him or without her. But not everyone understands what this vest means and what Colonel does, which made a recent family trip awkward. We were, uh, you know, just trying to get lunch as a family and asked to leave because the employee didn't understand that we had a service dog, we tried to educate. So to hand him some literature on the ADA laws, what two questions he could ask, and uh, was not interested in, in seeing that. Unlike emotional support or therapy animals, ADA certified service dogs are allowed public access rights by law to accompany a person with a disability, with few exceptions like areas where food is prepared or when the safety of the person or dog could be compromised. What we always say uh, is you treat Colonel as if you would a wheelchair because uh, it is a, it is a medical device and I have had people ask me why I have Colonel um, and so I usually just rephrase it like you you're wondering what my disability is and then they usually understand real fast what why the question was inappropriate those questions are the exception 90% of the time Zach says this is what a night out looks like I love it when people just say hey, nice nice dog beautiful dog and they just keep walking we've been married for 13 years now and about 10 of those years were spent just avoiding or I would go do things without him. So it's fantastic that Zach can come do some of the things that I love. It's just a sense of freedom for all of us. Essentially, it's almost like someone who is seeing impaired with their service animal. You wouldn't want to stop them is basically what they were saying as well. Despite being asked to sit outside, the Fox family chose to sit down, dine inside the restaurant without further issue. They did eventually contact the owner they feel the situation has been resolved. They hope sharing their experience will help prevent similar situations for others. 